Gentlemen, I have a statement to make, and then following that statement, for any questions you might have, I shall refer you to the Attorney General. As President of the United States, I have the honor and the privilege to pick thousands of appointees to positions, four positions in federal government. Each is important and deserves a great deal of care for each individual called upon to make his or her contribution, often at personal sacrifice, to shaping the policy of the nation. Thus, each has an obligation to you in varying degrees and has an impact on your life. In addition, as president, I have the privilege to make a certain number of nominations which have a more lasting influence on our lives, for they are the lifetime appointments of those men and women called upon to serve in the judiciary in our federal district courts and courts of appeals. These individuals dispense justice and provide for us this, these most cherished guarantees of protections of our criminal and civil laws. But without doubt, the most awesome appointment guarantees, uh, well, is a guarantee to us of so many things because it is a president uh, as a president, I can make an appointment to the United States Supreme Court. Those who sit in the Supreme Court interpret the laws of our land and truly do leave their footprints on the sands of time. Long after the policies of presidents and senators and congressmen of any given era may have passed from public memory, they'll be remembered. After very careful review and consideration, I have made a decision as to my nominee to fill the vacancy on the United States Supreme Court created by the resignation of Justice Stewart. Since I'm aware of the great amount of speculation about this appointment, I want to share this very important decision with you as soon as possible. Needless to say, most of the speculation is centered on the question of whether I would consider a woman to fill this first vacancy. As the press has accurately pointed out, during my campaign for the presidency, I made a commitment that one of my first appointments to the Supreme Court vacancy would be the most qualified woman that I could possibly find. Now, this is not to say that I would appoint a woman merely to do so. That would not be fair to women, nor to future generations of all Americans whose lives are so deeply affected by decisions of the court. Rather, I pledge to appoint a woman who meets the very high standards that I demand of all court appointees. I have identified such a person. So today, I'm pleased to announce that upon completion of all the necessary checks by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, I will send to the Senate the nomination of Judge Sandra Day O'Connor of Arizona Court of Appeals for confirmation as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She is truly a person for all seasons, possessing those unique qualities of temperament, fairness, intellectual capacity, and devotion to the public good which have characterized the 101 brethren who have preceded her. I commend her to you, and I urge the Senate's swift bipartisan confirmation so that as soon as possible she may take her seat on the court and her place in history. Do you agree yeah. with her position on abortion, Mr. President? I said I'm going to turn over all questions to the Attorney General here and let him ask, right answer the, the questions. Right to life, right to life people, people may oppose her, sir. And we just wonder if... Uh...